So welcome to this uh, little video series uh, that we are doing for University of London Law exams uh, for both October and May exams. So I hope you will uh, stay tuned and um, get as much as material as possible for your upcoming exams. If you have any questions, you can email me or WhatsApp me and I'm happy to help you with whatever the questions uh, as my time permits. All the best for you for your exams. Eastman's are regular questions in property law exams for second year and sometimes third year students depends on level six or level five. So when you look at Eastman's, uh, this is a very technical question. Uh, however, this can be answered in the following manner. When you are given Eastman question, first thing to do for you is to figure out what are the given Eastman's. Often they'll give you two to three Eastman's, perhaps a right of way, right of storage, right of sign. So they will give you two to three Eastman's. Next thing for you to understand is you have to apply the Ellen Borough criteria. There are four criteria under Ellen Borough. First criteria is there must be a dominant land and a servient land. Second criteria is that the dominant land and the servient land must be owned and occupied by two separate people. Third point, right, this easement must benefit the land, right? So this easement must accommodate the dominant land. And finally, the easement must be uh, of a uh, it's subject matter of a grant. It's in the nature of a subject matter of a grant. So these four criteria, if you know this, and if you know the latest cases such as Regency Villa, you should be able to get a good mark. So make sure you know these four criteria well. Secondly, you need to figure out whether this is a grant or reservation, right? So for example, if you're giving an easement, it's a grant, but if you keep an easement for yourself, that's a reservation. So you need to figure out whether it's express or implied. Right, the difference between expressed and implied often, almost all the questions I have seen at the exams are implied. Finally, you need to know how prescription, that means long-term use, 20, 30 years, lead to easements. And it is helpful for students to understand about profit upon rate, that means profits. Those are, as opposed to easements, those are personal rights, such as a right a person has uh, on somebody else to pluck flowers or pluck some vegetables. So again, remember Eastman's are property rights. Eastman means basically a right enjoyed by one person over land of another. So for example, if I have a right of way through your land, this is Eastman. So the one who enjoys the right would be the dominant owner. The one whose land to in which this road flows would be the servient owner, as you see in this graphical illustration. So make sure you uh, attempt this question in a manner that is very uh, practical and logical and also structured. All the best. <laughs>